Hey guys, it's Ami and Mori. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this cute baby ninja turtle Ami Gurumi. He has a bandana and he has felt eyes and cute little arms and legs and a turtle shell on the back. You can find a free written pattern on my website amiamore.com. And don't forget to tag me with your projects on Instagram. I'd love to see. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Here are the materials you'll need. For the head and body for round one, you are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you are going to close your loop. Then we are going to use a stitch marker. And I just like to use a bobby pin because it's easy to take in and out. Now for round two, you're going to do two in each stitch all the way around. So in our very first stitch, I am going to do my first single crochet stitch. And then into the same stitch, I'm going to do my second. So that is one and two. And then one and two. One and two, one and two, and in our very last stitch, it is one and two, and you should now have 12 single crochet stitches around. For round three, our pattern is going to be two, one, two, one, and repeat the pattern all the way around. So this is going to be one and two, and in my next stitch, just one, repeat the pattern again. One and two and one. And continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. For round four, my pattern's going to be two. And then in the next stitch, just one single crochet stitch, two. And in the rest, just one. Okay, so here's our pattern. It's going to be one and two. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And repeat the pattern again. It's one and two. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now we should have 20 single crochet stitches all the way around. And for round five to six, we are going to do just one in each stitch all the way around and we'll stay at 20 single crochet stitches. So go ahead and work up your stitches all the way around. So after round six, here's how it should look like. One, two, three, four, five, six rounds completed. Now for round seven, our pattern's going to be a decrease. And then in our next eight, just one single crochet stitch and repeat around. Here's our decrease. We're gonna insert hook and come back out. Insert hook into the next stitch and come back out. You should have three loops, yarn over, come out through all three loops. And then it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Repeat the pattern again. We're going to do a decrease right here. 
and then for the rest of the stitches we're just going to do one single crochet stitch all the way around so go ahead and work up your stitches now for round eight our pattern is going to be a decrease single crochet decrease single crochet repeat the pattern all the way around and you should have 12 single crochet stitches here's our first decrease and then just one single crochet stitch repeat the pattern again a decrease and a single crochet stitch continue to repeat the pattern all the way around for round nine our pattern is going to be a decrease single crochet stitch repeat the pattern all the way around and you'll have eight single crochet stitches at the end so here is our decrease and then a single crochet stitch and then we're going to do a decrease and a single crochet stitch and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around for round 10 our pattern is going to be a decrease and then single crochet single crochet and you're going to repeat the pattern around so here is our decrease and then we are going to do a single crochet stitch and then in our next one we'll do another single crochet stitch repeat the pattern again a decrease and then it's going to be one and then in our next stitch we are going to do one more single crochet stitch And we're ready to do a color change. You will get yellow yarn and make a knot for it to prep it. And then we are going to do a single crochet stitch in our next stitch. So before we finish it through, we're going to grab our yellow yarn and pull it to finish the single crochet stitch. And then we'll move our stitch marker to our next stitch and that will be the end of that round right there. And now we're ready to do round 11. We're going to do two single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around. So it's going to be one and two in the same stitch. Okay, repeat the pattern again. It's going to be one and two okay it's going to be one and two and continue to repeat all the way around and you should have 12 single crochet stitches at the end we can cut off our green yarn i like to stuff um, the yarn inside and now we're ready to do round 12 and we're going to stay at 12 single crochet stitch so it's just one in each stitch all the way around so that's one one and continue to repeat all the way around for round 13 our pattern is going to be two and then the next five just one repeat the pattern around so it's going to be one and two and then it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Repeat the pattern one more time. For rounds 14 and 15, we're just going to stay at 14 single crochet stitches. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round 16, we are going to in the back loop only. So before we are went through both loops, but now we only want to go through one loop. And we're going to decrease all the way around so here we're going to do our decrease in the back loop only okay you should have three loops yarn over and come back out continue to do another decrease in the back loop yarn over come back out go to the next 
stitch, yarn over, come back out, yarn over and come out through all three and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around and you should have seven single crochet stitches at the very end. Here's our very last decrease right here. I'm gonna go in the back loop and then we're going to cut off a long tail and fasten off. And here is our body completed. For the arms and legs, we are going to do four single crochet stitch into the magic ring. And that is going to be one, two, three, and four. Going to close your loop. And for round two, we are going to stay at four. So it's just going to be one. And then that's going to be my second. And then next stitch is going to be three. And then final stitch is going to be four. And you'll want to flip it so that the right side is showing. Then I'll want to do a slip stitch to fasten off and I'm going to cut a long tail and here is our leg completed and you want to make four. Now for the shell with dark green yarn you are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to close your loop and if we count, that is one, two, three, four, five, six. For round two, we're going to do two in each stitch all the way around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight nine and ten and our very last stitch eleven and twelve and we should have tw twelve single crochet stitches all the way around now for rounds three and four we're just going to stay at twelve single crochet stitches so it's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around and this is how your shell should look like. Now for round five, we're just going to do slip stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your slip stitches. For round six in the back loop only, we're going to do two in each stitch all the way around, two single crochet stitches. So that's one and two. In our next stitch, it's going to be in the back loop only one and two back loop again one and two and continue to repeat on the, the two stitches all the way around and when we get to our very last stitch we are going to do one and two then I'm going to slip stitch to finish off and I'm going to cut a long tail and here is our turtle shell completed. Now for the bandana, you are going to chain 30. So go ahead and do one, two and keep doing it until you reach 30 chain stitches and this is how it should look like count one and second chain and in my second chain i am going to do a single crochet stitch and we are going to do one single crochet stitch in each chain across and at the end you should have 29 single crochet stitches and after we do our very last single crochet stitch we are going to cut off a very long tail and fasten off and here is how your bandana should look like.